know the goal is to try to spend a hundred dollars in Bucky. So let's see what we can get for a hundred dollars. Or if we can spend a hundred dollars. I'll also be taste testing some of Bucky's most popular snacks. Ugh, once you leave it on your tongue, oh, that is horrible. I don't know which way to go. Now this place is huge. Now Bucky's isn't your typical gas station. It's crazy how they just have a station to make brisket sandwiches. Like this is crazy to me. Their snacks have become so popular that people out of state often order online just to get a taste. So come with me to see if I can actually spend a hundred dollars inside of Bucky's. And the bun is so buttery and soft, y'all. The barbecue sauce tastes so good. To be honest, y'all, I did not expect this to be good. I, I cannot believe I got this from a gas station, y'all. All right, y'all, so I'm about to try the sausage jalapeno cheese kalashi. Now, I've never had a kalashi before. This will be my first time. Probably shouldn't have tried it at Bucky's, maybe. I don't know. Y'all let me know down below in the comments where I should go for the good kalashis. We about to go ahead and try it. The sausage is really spicy, and I'm not really seeing no cheese. No cheese. Oh yes, I am. But this is how it look, y'all. I don't know if y'all ever seen the kolache. It's really good. Uh, we're gonna try the pickled quail eggs, y'all. I do not know what to expect. It's spicy too, y'all. taste is horrible all right y'all so this is the tortilla sausage it's on a stick y'all this gives me like fair food i like like the taste of the sausage y'all i'm about to try the candied almonds my pool aaron told me to get this so that's what i got bucky's almonds candy almonds Whoa, that's straight sugar, but it's so good. <laughs> oh, it's like the 
Oh, I love it. It tastes, it's sweet, but then like the almonds have like that, you know, like the almond taste. <laughs> it tastes so good. Wow, y'all. This is dangerous, y'all. It is dangerous. This is so sweet, but it's so good. It's so addictive. Like, it's so hard for me to stop eating this. Y'all know what's so crazy is, it's like, this is a freaking gas station. Like, you could get all these snacks at a gas station. My gas station back in Detroit are all the gas stations, except 7-Eleven, you know. Everybody got 7-Eleven. Oh my God, nigga a cat. Oh, he's so cute. All the gas stations in like Detroit just have like, you know, the regular stuff. And it's super small. Like our gas stations is probably like, what? 400 square feet or something like that. It ain't why these banana pudding, but let's see how good it is. Dang, that's good. Mm. I mean, it's just banana pudding, you know? <laughs> but it's good. I didn't expect theirs to be good, you know? They got a lot of um, wafers in here, bananas. Y'all, also, Bucky's, they do not allow like trucks and stuff here, like um, 18 wheeler trucks. They will send you away. So if you a truck driver, don't even bother coming to Bucky's because they they not even gonna let you go in and shop. They strict. All right, y'all. So I'm about to try the blue cream pop from Bucky's. I mean, I guess the blue cream was to taste like blue cream. This is blue cream. <laughs> it's sweet, but it's like it's real sweet to me, y'all. It's like over the top sweet. This is the Bohemian garlic beef jerky. Let's give it a try. It looks real good though. Ooh, I'm not even lying. This is like the best beef jerky I ever had. This is so flavorful. Wow. A little bit on the salty side, but I mean, it's beef jerky. Of course, you're getting a lot of salt. You know, but this is really good. It's chewy. Mmm. Ooh, it's, it's like smoked. Ain't as good. Mmm. Nice brisket and they made it fresh y'all. Oh, it's still hot. Bun is buttery soft. Mmm. I don't know because I haven't had barbecue food and I don't know when as to why it's so good to me, but this is good. Dang. You feeding him. He ate some brisket too. I don't even know if he can eat brisket. So, I want to try this beaver tail. This boy is a mess. <laughs> I don't think I something like this in Canada. I don't know. It looks like a cinnamon roll low key, but like, but like a croissant, you know? And it's like very cinnamon. something like from my childhood and I just cannot think what it is. It's like an apple turnover. I was sitting here trying to think. The flakiness is like an apple turnover. Mm. You get that cinnamon flakiness. It's sweet. Okay, next in this box, y'all, I have the, oh hell no. The goddamn cockroach. Oh y'all, these Texas, but when they say everything bigger in Texas, that includes the bugs. Okay, y'all, we got a cherry kolache, so let's see. Ooh, that's soft. I don't like that, it's so doughy, like, I don't know, like when I had the that sausage one, jalapeno one, that one was good, like I like that one. I know it's the same dough, but it just went well with that one. This one, I don't, this, it's just not going well for me, so. I don't like that, y'all. All right, y'all, so I'm excited to try the Bucky's Beaver Nuggets. I heard so many good things about this, so I'm so excited. Oh, they taste like something. Oh, these will be good in, like, some milk. They, they taste like the cinnamon French toast cereal, right, y'all. So I have the cookies and cream fudge. Wow, they nailed the flavor on this. This definitely tastes like cookies and cream. I'm telling you, it tastes like Oreo, I'm not kidding. I can't see myself just, oh, I'm gonna go to the store so I can get some fudge. What? 
Oh. All right, y'all, so we about to try the cinnamon roll with pecan. Look how big this dang on cinnamon roll. I was gonna cuss. Well, look how big these, the cinnamon roll is. I'm expecting this to be really sweet, y'all, because cinnamon rolls to me is always like dumb sweet. That's stupid sweet. Don't get this, this is too sweet. Unless you're a person who eat that cinnamon bun, then I guess, but this is too sweet. I've never been the person to, to like raw cookie though. I like when, look, when I eat my cookies, I do like them, like chocolate chip cookies that you make at home, I like them like almost undercooked. I do. Raw? No. I already know I'm not gonna like this. Mm. Straight up cookie dough. It is good, but it's too sweet. So I only spent $72 in Bucky's, y'all. But you can get a lot in Bucky's for under $100. Now, let me tell y'all my favorite thing at Bucky's. So I'm sure y'all probably already guessed it by now. But my favorite thing in Bucky's is that chopped brisket sandwich. It was freaking amazing. If you stopping through Bucky's, you have to try the chopped brisket sandwich. Now, my least favorite thing, I would have to say that cinnamon roll. It was so sweet it was just it was too sweet to where i just i couldn't enjoy it now the thing that surprised me was that bohemian garlic beef jerky oh my god if you come to bucky's do not forget to get the bohemian garlic beef jerky bucky's is known for how clean their bathrooms are when i tell you they bathroom so clean i just felt so comfortable in there now if you know if you go to 7-eleven or something like that you might as well just pee outside bucky's is so big this this particular location that i'm at i think it's like 50,000 square feet with over like 70 pumps or something like that gas pumps it is massive bucky's actually have over 200 surveillance cameras y'all so either you're gonna feel really really safe or you're gonna be pissed off because you can't steal nothing is it a place for you to like fly to, to try it out? Absolutely not. It's just a place like if you passing through and you see it and you like, oh, I wanna check out Bucky's because Wani said it was like really nice. Is that, you know? <laughs> All right, y'all, but anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank y'all so much for joining. Please don't forget to like if you want more videos like this and I'll see y'all in the next video. All right, bye y'all.